party started. Hello, hello. In this video, we're discussing writing for your book. In this video, we're discussing making time for writing for your book or for your author's business. Hello, thank you for joining me. And those of you who don't know, I broadcast live both on, on YouTube and on Instagram once a week. So by learning how you can make time for writing, you can reduce the stress and the anxiety of writing that book and finally get that book published. So y'all, make sure you subscribe or follow my channel because we're about to get into this topic. It, especially if you are working to take your life or your business back, you wanna watch this video. This video is for you. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Jackie McKeever. I'm a life and business coach. What I do is I help individuals just like you. I want you to know, first of all, it's not an accident that you found this channel. I believe in divine intervention. I believe that you were destined to hear this message. So this message was specifically designed with you in mind. So what I do is I help you get organized, your life and business organized. I help you get trained and I help you create multiple scalable income streams. The reason why I do that is in income is a, or money is a vehicle that'll help you take your life and your business back. Because if you can take control your money, then you can control anything. Okay, you can control anything because in that journey, there's some things, some struggles, some self-sabotage in order for you to be successful that you have to conquer. You have to find the route to victory. Okay, y'all, before we get into it, get deep into it, I want to give y'all this week's schedule. Of course, today's, uh, today's Tuesday when this live posts. And we're talking about making time for writing. Wednesday for my Victory uh, victory Chat with Jackie McKeever podcast, we'll be talking about how to find your writing topic, okay? Because sometimes we know we want to write, but we, we have so much, so many ideas in mind, but we don't know where to start, right? Or what ideal is a good ideal because we write with the audience in mind. So we're going to be talking that, about that tomorrow on Victory Chat. For Thursday, this is for my YouTubers only. This is why if you're not subscribed to me, you should be subscribed. Because for YouTube only, we're going to be talking about the stages of writing a book. More specifically, we're going to be talking about some of the, the ups, the downs of writing the book, the book and how to conquer those things. So you want to make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. You can click the link tree forward slash route to victory that's in the bio. And for YouTube is down in the description to find my links so that you can get this information. So enough of the announcements. Y'all, let's get into the subject of making time for writing. So you already know that you have a message that you want to deliver, right? But you, you live a busy life and you don't know how can you make time for writing because you want to get that message out. We're all designed with a story that will empower, that will create a uh, catapult change in individuals' lives. But your mission is, is to get that, that word, that writing, that that message out to solve problems. So you have to figure out how to make time for writing, okay? Writing. So my author YouTube, uh, for our author YouTubes, our book YouTubes, our future authors, this is for you. The first method is 
creating an author's business plan. plan. The reason why you want to uh, create an author's business plan, and there's some things to follow that I'm going to give more detail, but specifically, one of, uh, you've heard of a business plan, but an author's business plan, a simple one, which I'm going to put the link in the description. The, the link is also in my link tree for slash route to victory. I'm doing a class. If you don't know how to write an author's business plan, a free class on August the 30th, you click the link in my bio if you're on IG or go to my link tree for slash route to victory. And you have this free 45 minute class where I give you the, the steps, the methods, of creating a simple uh, author's business plan. So the reason why you wanna create one is, is because an author's business plan is like a map. It's a roadmap to help you not only know what the steps are, but it'll help keep you motivated because be, uh, in the beginning, the, the scope, the scope or the reason why you're doing everything is at the beginning. It, it's where you put your why. And once you know why you're doing everything you're doing, that helps keep you motivated when you're, you're living a busy life and you're living a busy life and you're scared that you're going to miss a step. Um, you, you feel like giving up. When you remember what your why is, it keeps you going. It keeps you going and it makes you go uh, walk forward toward whatever that journey is for your life and your business. And that's one of the methods also how you take your life and business back because you have a message and you decide to write a book. book. And there's different reasons why writing the book, right, why you should write a book, but I'm not going to go into that. But Creating an author's business plan helps you make time for writing because it's literally a to-do list. You list your what the things that you need to do now, the things that you're going to do later, and the things that you're going to do after that. And an author business plan can be one to five years. So you want to start there if you have not. Listen. August the 30th, like I said, you click the link tree for slash route to victory and you should join that class. Okay, that's step number one is creating an author's business plan. Step number two. Oh, did I mention on step number one, the author's business plan that uh, course is actually free. So you can just click the link and join me 45 minutes for free. It's not gonna be on social media, so it's a private uh, Zoom link that you'll receive. So you don't want to miss it. All right. So then we got step number two. Step number two, in order for you to make time for um, writing, you, also, you have to schedule your time. You have to become, um, you have to become an authority or you have to be, use the power, the control you have to take your time back in your life. Actually get serious and schedule a time. Schedule a time to write. Now, uh, a lot of times we uh, make the errors when we schedule in a time to write and we say, oh, I'm going to, at three o'clock, I'm going to sit there and I'm going to write and I'm not going to do anything else and we don't have an end time, right? It's important that we be uh, in authority of our life and serious about our writing and say, hey, I'm going to take 45 minutes, 30 minutes, for an hour, whatever, and set it in stone. You know, when you go to work, when you go to work or when you decide to do something that brings you revenue, whatever it is that you do, you said you, there's a time set, okay, for your work. And this is work. It's work that you enjoy, but it's work. So you want, and you want to set a time. So what I like to do, especially in the beginning, is to set 30 minutes. I set a timer. I set a timer. This is my timer. I'm going to show y'all my timer. 
And there's a reason why I don't use my phone and I'm going to go over into the next step. But I literally set, y'all see, I set a timer. I set a timer for 30 minutes, 30 minutes. And when it beeps and when it beeps, I know it's time to stop writing, right? You're training your mind. You're taking back your life and your business into your hand when you set a set time and you don't do anything but that time. So in order to make time for writing, uh, uh, so number one was creative office business plan. Number two is schedule time to write, right? That's the end and the, the start and the, and the stop time for writing. Number three, Number three. <laughs> Woo, number three is create an outline. So you want to create an outline because creating an outline, it tells you what you're going to do next and what you're working on. You've already created an office business plan. You already said, let I, today I'm going to schedule at least uh, I'm going to schedule 30 minutes, right? And if your window gives you more time, then book more time. You're literally making an appointment with yourself for the writing. So number three, like I said, is creating an outline. When you create an outline, it's like a to-do list. You know exactly what you're going to write about that particular day. And when you do that, you reduce your stress and you reduce your uh, anxiety because you don't have to say, okay, you're not. And that's me tapping on the desk, trying to figure out, okay, what can I have Salvador or, or John, whoever your characters are in your book, do next? Who should they meet? Oh, what do they look like? You're not puzzling yourself with that, with all that information in that particular time because it could be time consuming, especially if you all you have is 30 minutes, you want to get some good material in. And if you have an outline and the more detailed your outline is, and it can be just your outline can just be bullet points, but the more detailed your outline is, the easier it is for you to get in and make time for that scheduling because you know okay it's tuesday at 10 30 p.m i'm going to john is going to school he's gonna meet J betty he's gonna talk to peter and this is where he's gonna get his spider sense i'm just making some stuff up y'all just uh improv you know he's gonna get his spider sense and but he's not he's going to be confused he's going to know that uh he's not going to know how to really control it and that's going to be your uh 30 minute window and that's what you're going to specifically write about now when you do your time when you do your schedule you're you're literally going to take your outline and go piece by piece until you got all this check marks so your outline serves as a checklist. So that's another reason why you wanna create an outline. So we have number one, um, create an author's business plan. Number two, schedule time to write, to write, right? Do a minimum of 30 minute schedules, uh, 30 minute start and stop time minimum or more depending on how busy you are that particular day or that particular week. You wanna create, at number three, you wanna create an outline. And now we're on number four. Thank you for joining me. We're talking about writing, uh, making time for writing. So number four, number four, number, <laughs> number four is you want to get rid of the distractions. Oh, finally, we got to number four. Okay, so one of the reasons why you want to create a business plan, 
and you want to schedule at least a minimum of 30 minutes to write your book and you want to create an outline is because all of that helps you get rid of the distractions. I want to tell you about some other methods. Now, I want you to be reasonable or realistic when it comes time to schedule your writing, okay? You want to be realistic when scheduling time for writing. If you know your kids, you your kids have to be at school or at practice, soccer practice at 4 p.m., don't, and, and you are only 10 minutes away from the Scott soccer field, you do not want to schedule your writing time 30 minutes before you have to leave. Because listen, that's a time of, just get it, listen, I'm a mom, okay, I'm a mom of three adult kids. And I know personally, it took me 30 minutes just to get them kids in the car, okay? Because they were distracted about everything. Oh, I have to go to the bathroom. Oh, I don't want to wear these shoes. Oh, I forgot this. I lost this. Even though we may have prepared the day before, even the, the same day and laid out those things. In the process of doing it, so many things can come up. And that's why it used to take me 30 minutes. I would be ready, set, go. And I'd have to say 1,500 times, your stuff is in the car, your hair is fine, your shoes are fine, everything is fine. I have everything you need, you don't need that. Put that back, <laughs> put that back. No, you can't take your game. No, you can't take this. Leave your brother alone, leave your sister alone, get in the car. You know, and that would go on for 30 minutes. So you don't want to schedule that time during that particular time. You want to refer to why you're doing it in the business plan. You want to refer to all the other things that's in the office business plan when you do it to help get rid of the distractions, to help get you motivated, to help you get serious about making time for writing your book. So you want to get rid of distractions. One of the other things I want to tell you about making time for writing, and this goes with number five. Remember, number one was creating an author's business plan. For those of you just joining me, if you have not written an author's business plan, I want to invite you August the 30th to join me for a free training. It's going to, it's not going to be on social media, a free uh training, 45 minute training called Secrets to Creating the Office Business Plan. You simply go to the, the link tree for slash route to victory. Okay, so number one is creating an office business plan. Number two, scheduling time to write. Number three was creating an outline. Number four was getting rid of distractions. And that leads me to our final step was Listen, you want to uh, set yourself up for success. So you want to do things to keep your, yourself from self-sabotage. Hello, y'all. For those of you just joining me uh, live, thank you for joining me. You want to set yourself up for success, okay? So all four of those steps that I gave you previously helps you to keep from self-sabotaging yourself. So I'm going to put a link in the description on my YouTube channel where you can learn more about self-sabotage. I actually have some YouTube videos where I give some steps, but I'm going to um, briefly give you some information about uh, preventing self-sabotage so that you can make time for writing your book and get that book published. Okay, so I already told you there are so many benefits of writing an author's business plan. They're a business plan. So the reason why you want to do, another reason why you wanna create an author's business plan 
is it helps you, it helps prevent you from self-sabotaging. Self-sabotaging is real. I mean, the biggest enemy that you have that's keeping you from being successful is the person that you look in in a mirror. That's right. That's you. That is you. So with an author's business plan, like I said previously, it lists what are you going to list your why? What are you going to do now? What are you going to do then after you accomplish the, the things you've done now? And then after that. So there's a couple of stages that are listed in an author's business plan. Um, by laying out, laying it out, it's in concrete. You can't lie to yourself or say, oh, I forgot to do this. I forgot to do that. You've already had it. Have it. Print it out. Print it out. So you can get on to writing your book. So scheduling your, scheduling your time and getting serious about scheduling your time, which is number two, helps you keep from self-sabotaging yourself, right? Because during the time, during the course of writing your book or doing anything that you, any goal that you want to achieve, it's going to be 109 things come up in your mind and around you, right? It's time for you to control your environment. The best way you can control your environment is control what you do with your time. So one of the ways of preventing self-sabotage is scheduling the time. You want to do it when it's least busy. You say, well, I'm busy all day. I, 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 I beg to differ. I beg to differ. I'm sure there is time where you're just laying around not doing nothing or things that you can schedule a time to do and stop doing spontaneous. A lot of times if we understand what we actually do with our time, we can find time to do a lot of things. And 30 minutes really is not that long. If you have children, now my kids are adults, but if you have children and listen, I know about having a busy work because I was working full time. I would work two or maybe three jobs at some time, work overtime. I had three children, all of them are stair steppers. Okay, that means they were born one, two, three, one after another with um, one year or less apart. So they're really close in age. I was a single mom. I was a full-time student going to three different schools. And some of those classes required papers. So when I tell you, you can schedule time to, to write, you can schedule time to write. These, this is the method that I use in order to get those large papers I had to write for my master's degree out in other classes. This is how I was able to get out of school and finish as quickly as I did um, for my master's and my bachelor's because I was determined. And also be able to spend quality time with my kids and periodically hang out with friends because I decided that I wanted to be a master of my schedule. Now, I'm not going to say that I am perfect. Everything's going to be perfect. But if you mindfully set the intentions on accomplishing a goal, which is through scheduling, you can prevent yourself from self-sabotaging. Did y'all catch that? Okay, so and cre that leads us with number three, creating an outline. Creating an outline can serve as a to-do list or checklist where you're actually checking off things that you, you said you were going to write in your book. Now, this can be put in bullet porn. Uh, bullet porn. I'm sorry, that came out by mistake. Bullet points. <laughs> I meant to say points, 
bullet point. I don't know why the other word came out. Anyway, so it can be bullet point, or you can put it in sentence form, or you can put it in sentence form. So um, by doing that, you, you'd say, okay, it's time for me to write about John about how he got his spider sense today because you've already written everything else previously and you checked it off on that list that you created and you know during that 30 minutes this is the, what you're going to focus on right and you write as much as you can and you use a timer until the timer goes off and then you go do something else it's always good to take breaks in between writing to keep you from being stressed out too. That's an added point. That ain't even in my notes. Okay, so then it's getting rid of the distractions number four. Listen, I for one, Mimi, I know there are tons of things that will distract you especially when you're living in a house with other people who are not planners and they are spontaneous. So there's nothing that you can do to, to control completely unless it's your kids um, to make them become planners, but you can control the distractions. Even if that means you say, well, honey, I am going to the park. I am going shopping. I am going to the mall. I'm going to the library. Are you going somewhere so that you can write? Now, the mall may not be a good place for you to write because you're going to be tempted to shop. But the park and the library or even the lobby or restaurant by yourself, don't buy yourself cops were great, is a great place for writing you can prevent yourself from having distraction because it's just you, your thoughts, and that laptop. So that, so I've listed some things. So the next thing you should be doing, you should subscribe or follow me if you're on IG. Subscribe to my channel for more journey, more things going on in my journey. Um, I'm going to be doing another book review and I revealed that in my last video and I will put it in the description my last video with so that you can my last video so that you can watch and get a sneak peek of what the next book is right and I don't I would show you the book but I don't have it on me don't have it on me at this particular time but I'm excited to join the author, author tube, uh, book tube community. I really did not know those communities existed at first um, until I decided to pick up, um, pick up a, a book that I had started writing years ago and I stopped, right? The book is called Absent Parent, Time to Forgive, to release and to heal. And that book, uh, right now, the scheduled date for publishing date is around October 30th. If I can get it sooner, I will. So you want to make sure that you subscribe to this channel, channel or follow if you're on IG so that you can be the, you can get the first, uh, be the first ones notified of when you can go and get this book. This is a passion project for me. And this is opening an, another world. When I first started back, you know, reading again, it really inspired me. It, uh, it re, uh, it uh, reacquainted me with my love for books and my love for writing. And with uh, so many people coming to me talking about childhood traumas, childhood traumas um, as a result of having an absentee parent, I decided to share my story. 
so that people can do what? Forgive, release, and heal. Um, in the book, I'm also talking about some of the eight areas of the life cycle that having an absentee parent affected my life and may affect yours and how to get how I got past them or how I'm battling them. Um, and why? Because I'm all about you taking your life and your business book, your business back, business book. I mean, business back. Y'all, this is live. There's no take backs. Anyway, so you want to make sure you subscribe to me. And while you add it, make sure that you leave me the comments. I want to know, what are you thinking about writing? Um, will you join my author's business plan, my free author's business plan uh, class? And what do you do to get rid of the distractions? Type in the comments below and make sure you watch the video that should be starting after this because I carefully placed it at the end. It's going, the next video is going to tell, talk to you about self-sabotage. And then after that, why you should uh, create an office business plan. Now, this is for YouTube only. So make sure you subscribe and follow this channel for more because weekly I come online to help you take your life and your business back. My name is Jackie. I'm a life and business coach. What I do is I help individuals just like you. How do I help you take your life and business back? I help you take your life back and business back by helping you get your life and your business organized, help get you trained, and help you create multiple scalable income streams. And these, this current video is designed to help you write your story, okay, and be successful. And I'm leading by example by taking you on this journey, this journey to taking your life and your business back.